The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. If I wanted to embed a georectified map on top of a Google Satellite layer, I could return to my exhibit settings and add in what is called a WMS address and WMS layer name into the exhibit settings fields. What this effectively does is it tells Neatline where to find a georectified layer that we will have already uploaded to something like a geo server. The address is simply the URL directing Neatline to the location of the server and then the layer name is that specific layer and where it can be found inside the server. We could choose to do this here in Exhibit Settings. However, if we add it instead within Neatline's editing interface, we will be able to have more control over how that image appears and disappears. If I click on History of Durham Architecture, and I will open this in a new tab. I will create a new record, and I'll go ahead and save it. And to add a layer to a specific record, I can navigate to Style, and then scroll all the way to the bottom of the Style page to look for Imagery. Under WMS Address, I will paste in the URL that my instructor or site administrator will have already given me. And then I will add in the WMS layer name. Again, something that, that your instructor or site administrator will have already given you. And I will click Save again. And now I know that this image is very small, so I need to zoom in to try to find it. Once you have found your map, zoom in to take a look at it. Make sure that it's appearing in the correct location. And make sure that it is uh, still a high enough resolution that you're able to read important information on the map. Now that we have added a WMS layer into a specific record, we can control its opacity so when it appears by changing fill opacity and fill opacity selected. So for example, if I did not want it to appear when it wasn't selected, I would set my fill opacity to zero, but I would also need a place to select it. This could either appear on the timeline or in waypoints or both. So I'm going to add at the top my widgets, simile, timeline, and waypoints, and then save. Now I should not see a map anywhere until I click on my waypoint, and then it appears. As soon as I close that record, my map disappears. I could also add it to the timeline. Let's say I want to add it for the year that the map was created, 1913. Click Save. Now I have my map available on both the timeline and on waypoints, so I could click on the map again in the timeline to have the map appear. I could also choose to have my map appear uh, only during specific uh, points in time, and remember I can do that using the before and after dates in the style section. Or I can set it so that my opacity is maybe partially opaque or partially transparent. This can help my viewers see what's underneath the map as well as what's on the map itself to be able to compare, in this case, past and present.